this world that have ever protected us in this country from our enemies. And that is Almighty God and our United States military, and that's it. And back in the early uh, 1990s, when my career was just getting off the ground, I had written a song that we ended up recording, and uh, my record label came to me one day and they said, man, we really want to do a video for this song. And I thought, well, I don't really think it needs a video, but if you guys come up with a video idea that just knocks my socks off, I'll do it. Otherwise, let's just forget about it. And they came to me one day with this incredible script of, it was more than just a, a music video, it was almost like a mini movie, which nobody was doing that in, in those days. And in this mini movie, they wanted me to play the part of a disabled American veteran. And not only that, but they told me that they wanted to actually shoot the video in a real life veterans clinic up in Murfreesboro, Tennessee. And everybody in the video, with the exception of myself and about three or four other actors, everybody else in the video were going to be actual veterans that were either patients or staff members at this veterans hospital. And I have to tell you, ladies and gentlemen, that was one of the greatest experiences that I could ever have imagined. Because in between shooting scenes with all of these warriors, I had a chance to sit and talk with all of them. And they told me incredible stories about wars that they were in and battles that they fought in. And some of them had pretty horrific injuries and no matter how bad any of these warriors were injured, every one of them told me the same thing. They said, you know what, Travis? Even if we knew that we were gonna be injured the way that we were, we would still, if we had the chance, we would still gladly do it all over again. because that's how much we love our country. That, ladies and gentlemen, is the true definition of patriotism, right there, that's it. So, I was so moved by that experience, as soon as I got back home from shooting that video up in Tennessee, I got back home here to Georgia, and I called all my senators and all my Congress people, and I said, listen, I know that I'm, I'm just a country music singer, and there may not be a lot that I can do, but if there's any way that I can use my voice or my talent or my platform to try to help bring more attention to veterans and veterans' issues in this country, I would like to sign up and volunteer for that. And as a result of that video and as a result of that phone call, I had the wonderful honor, the wonderful privilege, the tremendous opportunity to serve as the celebrity chairman and the celebrity spokesperson for a wonderful group of people known as the DAV, the Disabled American Veterans, and I did that for four years in a row. And after that four years was over, I had the opportunity to serve in that same capacity for two more years with another very special group known as the VFW, the Veterans of Foreign Wars.
And ladies and gentlemen, I have to tell you that six years was one of the greatest times in my life. Because not only did I get a chance to travel all over the United States, but I had a chance to travel all over the world and visit numerous dozens and dozens and dozens of military installations all over this planet. And not only did I get a chance to entertain the troops, but everywhere I went, I had a chance to sit down and shake hands with and talk with so many of these men and women that as far as I'm concerned, if you looked up the word hero in the dictionary, you should see all of their names and all of their faces next to that word because that's what they are. They're American heroes. So ladies and gentlemen, I said all that just to say this. If there's anybody in this audience tonight, and I'm sure there are, that has ever worn the uniform of any branch of our United States military, I have a message for you, and I have a message for your families as well. And it's a very simple message, but trust me, when I tell you, it comes from the bottom of my heart. And the message I have to all of you who have served is, you are the best in the world. May God always bless you. May God always bless your families. And may God always bless the United States. See you. 